Less than three weeks to go before students are back in school. And today, the unions for elementary and high school teachers confirmed teachers will be back in school as well. But there's no guarantee there's going to be labor peace. Both unions are warning it could be a tough year ahead as they battle the Ford government for a new contract. We have seen hostile governments come and go, but we are still here. Many times in the past, the barbarians have been at our gates and we have always driven them back. We have seen the likes of Doug Ford, but he has never seen the likes of OSSTF. That's pretty strong language from the head of the high school teachers union who claims the Ford government has declared war on education. Teacher contracts expire August 31st, and OSSTF is going into negotiations seething over the province's move to mandatory online courses and larger class sizes, which means thousands of teaching positions will be lost as a result over the next four years. So yes, teachers will be in class, but some form of a labour disruption is a possibility for later in the year. We've already seen uh, courses cancelled, we've seen support staff laid off, so am I optimistic? I, I think that would, be, that would be a stretch. I'm very concerned that we've got a government that thinks, uh, that doesn't recognize the, the, the investment value of public education in Ontario. Elementary teachers were meeting today at the same time. Their union president warned this could be the calm before a tsunami. Doug Ford, you have woken up a sleeping giant. Both high school and elementary teachers are facing the possibility of a 1% annual wage cap after the Ford government introduced legislation limiting pay increases. The unions say this interferes with bargaining. ETFO also says one of its priorities is to fight for the future of kindergarten teaching jobs. Currently, kindergarten classes have a teacher and an early childhood educator. The union fears the government could eliminate the teaching position altogether and have two ECEs instead. Our fear is without any input from the experts, without any input from solid research about the value of that program, that they look, may be looking at cutting it, and we're not going to stand by and allow that to happen. The concern could be justified. One government source has confirmed to City News that replacing kindergarten teachers with ECEs has been considered as a possibility because it could save the government an estimated half a billion dollars. The new education minister said today, despite the union leader's warning, he remains cautiously optimistic. As certain union leaders are preparing for battle, as was his words, I and the ministry and this government, the premier, is preparing for the first day of class. And it's not just teachers who are preparing for battle. Support staff could also be in for a fight. Their union, CUPE, voted on Sunday to hold strike votes the first two weeks on Sunday. Support staff, they're the ones that keep the schools running. They represent ed assistants, custodians, early childhood educators, clerical and library staff.